Hey everyone, I'm the Enforcer, and welcome to the Day 73 Summary. Here we can see the Ukrainians surveying the destruction of the first T-90M that the Ukrainians have confirmed to be destroyed in the Kharkiv region. The T-90M is one of the best tanks in the Russian armed forces that is actually fielded, and here we can see that it is still no match to the Ukrainian firepower levied by the artillery and anti-tank units. Here in this next bit of footage we can see even more destroyed Russian tanks. Here in this example we can see a T-72B that appears to have been abandoned and mostly destroyed due to some kind of artillery fire or drone strike. We can then see behind it and beside it more destroyed tanks. They appear to be the same class, most likely some kind of T-72s. We can see the turret of one laying further back on the road. And way in the back we can actually still see a BMP-2 that was destroyed as well. Here in this next bit of footage we can actually see an amphibious landing ship of the Russian forces near Snake Island being destroyed at its mooring. Right behind it we can actually see one of the fast attack boats that had been destroyed days prior. This gives us an idea that the footage is in fact a little bit old and was just uploaded and published recently. We can now see the explosion rocking the amphibious assault ship, most likely destroying it completely in the blast, and it has most likely sank in shallow water near the moorings where it was at in this video. In this last clip, we can see a C-17 landing at the Reshov Airport in Poland. This is the 100 C-17 that has landed at this airport over the course of five days. And with that, that is the end of the Day 73 summary. I thank you so much for watching, and if you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe, because more videos will be out like this daily, and also live streams every night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in the next video.